Uh, would you agree these are hornier than usual times? <laughs> the horniness yeah. level has been ramped up to a degree that's been unseen by me, at least. Okay? All kinds of people posting sexy pictures online, looking for a little attention. There's a term for that. What's that called when someone does that? Thirst. Thirst. Are you right away, sir? <laughs> You're a master of your craft. Yes, all kind of, I call them thirsties, classic thirsties, okay? And in my opinion, when you are in need, when you post a thirst trap, the people that like it, in my opinion, in a small way, they become a hero. <laughs> and I think we should start treating them as such. And start calling them thirst responders. <laughs> okay. Good work. Just pay any service you're doing, really. Put some of self-esteem, that's very sweet of you. I did a show in Modesto recently, because things are good, things are going good. And, uh, I was, uh, behind a big truck, had a bumper sticker that said, Honk, if you love Neil Diamond. <laughs> like, okay, I'm not like a huge fan of that, maybe I'll, I'll play along, all right. Toot toot, right? And like, right after I did that, this is all I see. <laughs> Like, you told me to, you piece of shit. What kind of sick game is this? And then I was like, wait a minute, maybe that guy hates Neil Diamond. Found the perfect way to lure in fans. You know, he's just like, Neil Diamond fucked my wife in 1982. I hate him and anyone who loves him. <laughs> you see that bumper sticker? Dude, on a gauge. There's a scamp behind the wheel. Went to the movies for the first time in a long time the other day. I love going to the movies a lot, like, that's where I feel sexy, okay, right? Dim lights, smell of butter, that's my world. I go walking in with a lot of confidence, some guy did a double take, he's like, oh, young George Lucas is gonna review something. He's hopping on his letterbox as soon as the credits roll on this fucker. God damn, I went to go see Fast 9. The ninth and the fast saga. They're hitting like Friday the 13th level numbers with this shit. I'm all for it. And it reminded me of last fall when actor Vin Diesel dropped a dance club hit called Feel Like I Do. Anyone hear this song? Yeah. One, one big fan. Yeah! It was, I, it was a bold move at the age of 53 when dance clubs were closed. He was like, now's the time. <laughs> I didn't know what I could do on the ones and twos. And when I heard Vin Diesel was making some music, I was like, oh, I've got to hear this shit. This is gonna be terrible. And then I listened to that song like 40 times in a row. And then I got scared, I got nervous. I was like, oh my God, do I love Vin Diesel's music? Or do I have COVID-19? I was like, fuck it, I'm not I get tested right now! Clean bill of health, I just have no taste in general. That's all it is. It's like, it's like bad things, that's all. This thing they're opening back up. I uh, took a date to a restaurant the other day, but when I got in there, I saw the bane of my existence on the table, which is a glass ketchup bottle. I can never, I know there's tricks to it. I never get it right in the heat of the moment. I get all nervous and shit. So I'm like trying to hold a conversation. I'm just like. <laughs> the guy notices like I'm having trouble like next to me. Like, you know, he's like, hey, I can get that for you. <laughs> Winking the lady, I'm like, she's like, he can do it. All of a sudden, some sort of like ketchup cuck. <laughs> it's very embarrassing stuff. You guys like dogs? You're big fans of dogs? <laughs> I was doing some research on dog breeds the other day, like looking up like why they're bred the way that they are. And this was news to me. I did not know this. Do you guys know that corgis and dachshunds are bred that way? so that they can more easily slip under a car and steal a catalytic converter. <laughs> just let them score some meth. Move to Modesto, start a family. Anyone hear like Adele? Sultry songs for Adele? Yeah. There was like a, I'm a, I've got a huge crush on Adele. I've got, had a crush on her for a long time. There was like a news story early on in quarantine. They were like, oh my God, Adele lost weight. Adele is hot now. And I was like, I thought she was already fucking hot. You know, I'm not gonna kick her out of that. What a monster I would be if I did that. And I don't know if she's been like lonely and horned up like a lot of people have been during all this, but if so, I thought I'd write a song for her. Let her know I'm out there pining for her affections. So I'm gonna sing it for you for Adele. <laughs> Adele, I'm Chad, 
I got a sweet bit, look pretty good in plan. I want to take you out for the readers and tea. So please go out with me. I'll buy you some curly fries. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a sweet and savory surprise? And I want you to coagulate like a moonlit cloud in my heart. I'm gonna take the deal out of this show. I'm coming back, and it's white claws on me, everybody. <laughs> Better pray this works out. Uh, uh, growing up, my dad did a lot of drinking. That's a fun segue. Right? <laughs> But he was very particular about a very cheap man. He would only ever drink Coors Light. And I was, I was like, why is that the one? There's better beers out there. Come on, there's options. And I was like, well, maybe, I guess, you know, not just because he's cheap, maybe it's because it's available everywhere, or he's swayed by advertising. I don't know. But I once saw a statement on a bottle of Coors Light. I'll never forget. It said, experience the legendary taste of Coors Light. <laughs> What could they be? <laughs> Odin! Thrust his staff to the heart of Snakehead's seductorous Medusa. Then shoved a cold prick or his life. Where's he going? Swung his hammer! and said, run dry. Christ performed his, dare I say, most refreshing miracle. He took me water, not so boring. Bijoir, bullshit wine. Not far from it. He took me something as ice cold and satisfying as the Rockies themselves. <laughs> I probably should have mentioned before, I am vaccinated, so... <laughs>